This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I decided to rerun the tests you may have seen earlier with these different coil configurations. Now that this is running north and south, it is running above 5,000 RPM. I um, put a new battery in this and there were some nicks on this where it's actually white plastic which was confusing the, the way it was reading but it's running over 5,000 RPM uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start it up and we're going to run the generator test again with the new the new configuration it absolutely screams about 1.6, 1.7 top speed. Now I'm not getting hardly anything on the output, so as a charger it's not working, but we're driving a generator with it. I'm going to try this coil first. Right now it's shorted. Dead shorted. It's redirecting the energy. I want to drop it on that. It's like a buzz saw. So you can hear it's slowing it down a little bit, but that's a dead short on a number 12 wire. Significant. You can actually feel it got a little warm. So, here we go. It's got, I'm going to test the voltage now. Oh, 
turn the wheel down. So, as you can see, this is a significant improvement over the previous monopole. 13 volts. Continually wrapped one right after the other. 13 volts. Zigzag pattern. 12 volts. Let's try one more thing here. Let's give you a reading on the speed here. There it is. 5,000 RPM and climbing. My best coil running through a transformer, 7 ohms, 19 ohms on the output. There you go, 90 volts running my best coil through the transformer. Now you get a voltage drop obviously if you were using the load or putting the load on it. So you know we still got to do the load test but this thing's running 5000 RPM. I'm getting 13 volts straight out of this coil. Right now I'm stepping it up with a transformer. But there you go, this coil's conventional coil so when I if I was to short it it would load down the wheel this one doesn't so this is Technomancer for zero point fuel signing out